Welcome back. We're on day seven of our visual puns. We are, we're getting there. It's getting closer. <clears throat> As a reminder, at this point you should have your visual pun planning sheet finished, both pages, and uh, photographed and in your uh, entry to of your art journal. If it's not, go back and watch the video from day six and um, that'll give you more insight into what exactly I'm looking for. Get that done. Get those two photos into your art journal because we'll need to see that as well as, well, this once it's done. We've got a start on it though. Here is our final of our, um, of our pun. Yay, it's happening. Um, so our next step is going to be we want to um, outline it in permanent marker. Go slowly it's permanent. <laughs> we cannot erase it. So just be careful. Another um, idea too would be to use a paper towel or tissue or something under your hand just so you're not smudging your, um, your drawing as you go. I am right-handed so I like to start on the left-hand side and work my way over. If you are left-handed you might want to start on the right-hand <coughs> side excuse me, and work your way over. Once again it just helps to prevent any um, any smearing or anything like that. So I'm taking my marker and I'm going to just really nice and slowly, thoughtfully go over all of these lines. Don't be afraid to move your paper too. Um, your wrist kind of only moves in this direction, right? <laughs> like it doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of movement. Um, so for that reason, it's a good idea to turn your paper in the the way that it's going to like give you the most natural movement so for example here's an arch i'm making here if i try doing that arch like this well i'm gonna have to like do some weird like it's it's not natural for my wrist to move like that so i always like to turn my paper as i go and that's going to give me the best um outcome as far as how that line looks Okay, so don't force your <clears throat> your wrist to go in an unnatural direction and then ends up with like lines that are all shaky and um, or going in directions that we maybe don't want. So that's a nice little tip, not just for this, but just for drawing in general. So notice again, I'm turning my paper and I'm going nice and slow. You have an entire day just to outline with permanent marker. You got, you've got plenty of time. So use that time. Go nice and slow. Make it look exactly how you want. If for some reason your picture does not turn out exactly as you want, guess what? You got more paper. <laughs> so don't feel like just because the first time it doesn't look perfect that you're stuck with it. You're not. You've got more paper. Go ahead and draw it again, right? Um, you get to count that time in your art journal. You're increasing your skills more. This is a good thing, okay? Don't look at it as a bad thing. Look at it as a good thing. It's a chance to increase and practice those skills even more. And that's what we are wanting anyway. All right, here's a nice big stretch. I'm gonna continue there. Um, you'll notice as well <clears throat> in my drawing I kind of changed a few things around I simplified instead of doing these like um, the box letters where I can color inside of it I decided it just looked a little busier than I wanted it to um, so on my final I decided to change it to just like that where it's just the single width of the outline so feel free, once again, before you put that permanent marker down, if there's any changes you want to see made before you use the permanent marker, that's going to be, <laughs> that's, that's your shot. So go with it. All right. You don't need to watch me outline this whole entire thing. Um, you'll see what it looks like in the next video before we start with our shading. So your homework, your goal for next class then is going to be to get this finished with your outline looking the way you want it um, and ready to go for shading and we'll see you next time.